so got the rabbit cut in for the frame or for the glass to lay in in the picture and then this cut here and you're probably wondering what that cut's for that's what these are for these strips i am going to these fit really nice i'm going to do that and i'm going to do an inlay in here this is walnut this is i believe cherry cherry or maple one too but either way i'm going to do an in inlay in here and i'll cut this off and then we'll sand it smooth and kind of see what it look like i'm gonna put some clear poly on it and when you put that on there with this uh cherry it's gonna look really good so get these glued in let them set for a little bit and then i'll get them trimmed off All right, I got all the inlays glued in. They're dry now. <clears throat> um, I just took them over there to the belt sander and uh, smoothed them off. That way they're... I left them a little bit long. That way I could smooth them down flush. You can see they're nice and smooth now. And I done a little bit of pre-sanding. Um, nobody wants to watch a sanding video, so I didn't record that. So here's the pieces I need. There's the picture. I got another frame, but I'm just gonna use the glass out of that frame is all that's for. I'm not gonna use that frame. So this will be the frame. All right, I got all the um, miters cut, and got it all glued together. Got my band clamp on there. And just gonna let it dry, and then I'm gonna, as you can see, some of these are a little high. Not a big deal. So I'm gonna sand everything flat, uh, fill in a little gap there. That'll be about it. And then I'm gonna put some splines in the end. I'll show you that when I'm ready to do that. All right, so the problem with making frames is you got ingrain to ingrain, which is not a very strong joint. So what I need to do is put some splines here in the end. And basically, use this, you're just making a cut through here, all the way through. And then we'll reinforce that with some, uh, I've got some maple. I think we'll put some maples, well, or some cherry, the same as we got here, and that way it'll kind of highlight it. So that's what we need to do now is cut those splines. And I've got a little makeshift spline cutter that I just made out of a piece of plywood just now. And basically what you do is, you can see the curve cut down in there. I got the blade set where I need it. So we'll set that down in there like that. Put that up against the fence, right through the saw. It'll cut that, and um, then we'll then we'll cut our splines. All right, so I got a couple clamps in there just to hold that tight up against that. And like I said, we'll just run this right up against the fence here. That'll cut our spline through there. Okay, spline number one cut. splines cut out here and obviously got all of our spline cuts made so I'll show you how we do this 
Like I said, this is just because you got in, in grain to in grain, you got to have something to reinforce this or this joint will just pop apart. So, I'm out the okay, that's it. Slide them in there, leave them a little proud. That way we can sand them down so that they're flush. things nobody wants to see that you gluing and sanding now these are made out of the cherry the same thing I made the inlay out of so once we get them once they're dry and we sand them down they'll look just like the inlay on here so should look pretty good Okay, spines are all in, as you can see right there. And I do have clamps on it's it's not to hold it together, it's I just stuck clamps on it and keep it up off the table. Um because when I glued the frame together, I forgot to put my plastic down and I ended up gluing this to the table, so that's why I got it up on the clamps just to hold it up off the table is all it's for. Alright, got it all sanded. It's not cleared yet, I just uh I use mineral spirits after I sand it just to wipe everything down. Um, it shows you any flaws that you're going to have when you actually put the clear on it. So, all looks pretty good. I don't see anything major. So, I did put a small, I don't know if you'd see that or not, just put a small chamfer on the back. Kind of leaves it out from the wall a little bit. As you can see, it kind of gives it a little shadow line. I think it looks good like that. So, that's how I'm going to do that. All right, so now I'm just going to let this dry. Let the mineral spirits, mineral spirits dry, which won't take very long. And then I'll uh, start getting some clear on it, and then we'll get it framed up. All right, so for this, I just sprayed some spray glue on it and then uh, stuck some craft paper down. We have a ton of this craft paper because we have a parrot. We use it for the bottom of this cage. So just glued that onto there. <clears throat> and get this. That's what I ended up with. We had a sign printing place here in town that made this it's a metal plaque uh, and they put the logo on it for me let's see if you can see that so there we go like i said when i sprayed it with clear i thought i was recording but apparently i wasn't so i didn't catch that but you kind of get the gist of that and then what i done is chamfered the bottom edge here you can kind of see that there how the edge is kind of chamfered under there I had a little chip in one of the corners and there wasn't any way to get a, get rid of it so I put a little chamfer on there. It kind of gives it a little shadow but so it kind of actually turned out pretty good. So that's it. That's the whole thing. Um, all I got left now is to put the hanger on the back. I ain't going to bore you with that. I'm put the hanger on the back and then we'll uh, get it up there to the office uh, tomorrow. All right, the hanger's all on. Got my little stamp on there. Shade tree woodworker, if you can't see that. It's all done. Try that. That's it. All right, 
Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, we're going to give this to the owner, Chris Hummer, and we're hoping he likes it. Everybody says he should like it. So, And this is the picture that we took out in, uh, I believe it was Utah or Wyoming. I can't remember. I'll have to look it up and find out, and I'll put it on the back of it. That way they know where it was taken at. But um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe. Make sure you click the bell so you get notifications.